Hi everyone, we're here with Pranjul, a seventh grader here at the John Cooper School. And Pranjul, you are a bird enthusiast. What do you like most about birds? It's a rewarding feel. Like after you see a bird that's hard to see, you feel really happy or something like that. And, how, and when did you get your interest in birds? I mean, I got my interest in second grade when some of my friends were drawing birds, so I decided to draw with them. Uh, then I, my parents decided to take me to this egret rookery hmm. to watch birds. You do a lot of bird watching right now? Is there a particular space here in the, the woodlands? Lakeside Park is a place that I could go for bird watching mm -hmm. easily. Yeah. Well, now we have uh, bluebirds here on this campus, as well as my understanding is a Cooper hawk. Is that, have you ever seen our hawk on campus? Uh, I haven't seen the Cooper's hawk here, no, but I have definitely seen bluebirds in the morning, and I've also heard house sparrows. I've seen a lot of vultures, mm -hmm. both black and turkey vultures. When you are looking at birds, that you, you love the flight patterns, the plumage, and, and just the pursuit of finding new birds. Um, so if there is a bird that you really would want to see, what would it be? That's a really good question. As a birder, there's a lot of birds in my list. One would probably be the condors. I heard some woodpeckers. Uh, you've got some sparrows. You have some cardinals. My name is Joy Klump, and I am a certified Texas Master Naturalist. George Mitchell's vision for the woodlands was to preserve this, the woods, uh, nature and, and its residents having those connections. So I think uh, the John Cooper School has really helped, you know, they've, they've hit the nail on the head with the way that even the landscape is um, because it's creating those, those connections for the students. So it's totally in line with his vision, I think. You know, especially in a school day when you're in a classroom and eight hours of a day and you just need that, that break, you know, mentally, something as simple as just taking a step outside, breathing the fresh air, hearing the sounds around you can be just enough to kind of lift your spirits and get you ready for the next class. So I love the fact that the students have access to that so easily. I used this app to identify the uh, bluebird that's here on our campus because I heard the sound and I thought, well, what is that? And I, I used my app and sure enough, it, it, it said it was, the, it was the bluebird. Bluebirds also have similar calls to house sparrows, so at times you could also be seeing those. I, this morning I actually noticed that there was a small warbler flitting around those trees back behind there. Yeah. Uh, I did not know which one it was, although it was slightly yellowish, so you could and put it into bird ID, it was like the size of a warbler or a chickadee, mm -hmm. right? Then you can also tell where it was, like where it was, and then it would probably give you a list of mm. birds that it could have possibly been. That's really cool. Well, thank you, you just helped me. I didn't know that we had warblers on campus. Right? The Merlin Bird ID. Merlin Bird ID, do you, I love that app. Yeah, so do I. I use it daily here on this campus. And make the effort to bird watch because if you're just there and like, oh yeah, no, I only see that one duck, I'm gonna leave. There's definitely something more. <laughs> That's right, there's definitely something and more. And so these Merlin tools, they will help you. Like you can use sound ID and you can say, oh hey, I, I'm hearing this. Then slowly you'll recognize the calls. After you recognize the calls, you can start searching for the birds. And then you will understand what birds do what, how they act. And sure, that will take quite a long time, like years, like maybe a year to two years to get it proficient but it's really good to know. That's great, well good. Well, being a bird watcher means you're always observant and you're curious about your surroundings. So certainly a, a great compliment to the work that we do here at Cooper. And we really appreciate you sharing your experiences with us today and your enthusiasm for birds. Thank you.